Evening, people. Welcome back to the Graph Kings podcast. We're back in Moomoo's, Kent's hottest nightclub as always. This evening, people, we've got an extremely special guest with us tonight. Travel all the way down from South London. The main man himself, Mr. David Courtney. Extremely. <laughs> Extremely. It's <laughs> a posh word for Kent, you know. <laughs> I won't ask you to spell that one out. That's it. <laughs> I read the dictionary for tonight. Uh, so, uh... <laughs> it's a pleasure to have you on, my man. Yeah, thanks, thanks for coming. Thanks for coming yeah, down. Nice to I love your little thing. Well, Thank you. You. You, like, you like the setup, yeah? Yeah, man. Good, man. It's good to have you on, honestly, like... We've grown up listening to stories about you, especially you have. Yeah. You've been told loads of well, stories. I'm afraid half of them are true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid. Would you mind telling, just for the people back home who don't know who you are, yeah. do you have a little bit of a, just a brief, exactly what you're about? And um, An insight into me is I had a normal upbringing. I'm a, I'm a South London fella. Um, I got into the employing the doorman at a very early age, say 19, 20. And that set me off on, on a on a a collision course with living a life of crime as I'm surrounded by 500 to 1,000 doormen every single day, putting them to work on Friday and Saturday night. The rest of the week, they were unemployed, so I found work for them. And they ended up, I ended up being called a gang boss, a celebrity, <laughs> a celebrity gangster, heir to the throne. And when the Cray twins died, when uh, Ronnie Cray died, I'd done, his, um, I'd done the security for, for his funeral. And that propelled me into a full sense of stardom, really. It propelled me into the, 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 the public, the general public got hold of me. And so did the authorities. And once the authorities saw that one man controlled all that as an army, no one in England's allowed to have an army apart from the army. <laughs> <laughs> so these are all baddies. And Mr. London, Mr. Liverpool, Mr. Manchester, Mr. whatever, I dragged them all together. And that was the first visual sign of. Uh, organised crime. One criminal organising the rest of England's criminals to celebrate the life of a criminal. Mm, and wow. so they shut me down on that. But it made me famous as a naughty man. Mm. But the more famous you get for being naughty, the less naughty you can yeah. be. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> everyone knows, ah, oh, that's Dave Courtney. I can't even stop in my car and go bang <laughs> because everyone goes you've so Courtney I know him I see him on the telly I know him so you get famous as being naughty and it's like a, then then it's your yeah, like awesome. yeah. fraud yeah. the Craigslist is on the opposite of that though they wanted to use all the flash and be in, involved with all the lights didn't they so yeah, yeah, yeah it's all right acting like a gangster and doing all this look at me I'm, I'm a if you've got family money and you don't have to be one but if you start acting and dressing like a drug dealer and driving the car of a drug dealer yeah. and living life of a drug dealer while you are a drug dealer, yeah, I'm going to show you a dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> a dickhead. I, mean, I can do all yeah. the, the gangster stuff now. I'm not a gangster. Yeah, I can do all that. Now I'm not. They yeah. can stop me. I've just been a court cool today, by the way. They can stop me and search my house every single day. Because I ain't doing now. I've got flags outside my house. All parties go big paintings of yourself on the front wall. <laughs> I ain't doing nothing, am I? Am I? But they won't stop. The fact that I've now decided to knock it on the head at my age and go no more. Mm. I'm write a book. Stop mm. the ride. I want to get off. Hello, get the, you know, get the hint. They haven't decided to go, okay, Dave stops. No. Let's not go no. ahead and leave him alone. They, they might be looking at it as a diversion. I go, he's changed. <laughs> <That's a diversion. laughs> <laughs> I've got away with an awful lot. Are they so, still on your case then? Is it yeah, like, they've it? nicked me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say something to the general public. I'm asking you to go on your Google machine and check this out. Google. <laughs> it's now law. The law has changed around weapons such as the knuckle duster, the extendable kosh, and then throwy kung fu darts. If you've got one at home on your shelf, someone's give you one as a present, you've got it in a bedroom drawer just in case, they search your house now for finding that in your home. It's illegal. It's six months. I know I've been a court over it today. And the only way I can get away with it is the man I live with had to go, they're mine, get nicked, or I was getting nicked. <laughs> And he couldn't get Nick because he had to come do the Graph Kings exactly. podcast. Come and do this when I ain't letting them boys down there. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't letting that boom. <laughs> <laughs> Did you go to that boom boom club? I went, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love that, um, man. Dave, you know what? I, I want to start um, this podcast off a little bit different to probably most conversations you've had. And I want to start the podcast off and this conversation off for the benefit of us and everyone else that knows you, etc. Et but I want to find out and ask you who are you today, Dave, rather than going back 30, 40 years ago? Who is Dave Courtney well, I'm today? Glad you, I'm glad you asked. 
And what are you up to? Today, I'm identifying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's not that get into that. Look, Nate, you know what I mean? I've been lucky enough to live a life that I can honestly say um, I've had 30 years of a life that is dreamy for you boys. You know what I mean? Like, I could have been Brad Pitt and not lived any better than I lived in London. Please hear me. I've travelled the world, done the, the whole thing, and there was times in my life when I went, if you could be anyone, Dave, who would you be? And I'd go... I can't think of anyone else. Myself, I mean, I'm hanging yeah. out of the best looking thing on FHM. I'm driving a Rolls Royce. I've built a castle. I've built an army. You know, I'm just banging one off to bring. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sorry, I'm banging one off the rice crispy. <laughs> I mean, you know, so I've lived the life. And um, getting here was quite hard. I've got a few holes in my body I wish I never had. And a couple of years wrapped up around a prison I wish I never had. But, yeah. you know, nothing. Evely bad, not 20 years, not you know, scarred up. And mm. so I've dipped my toe in the criminal world and got out of it yeah. Yeah. at the right time. But I've definitely got out of it because today, please, I'm telling you, please believe me, today is not a time to be a criminal, right? Yeah. You're not beating the brains of a, of a policeman. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're beating technology. Mm. My friend's in prison because he got a picture took from him from the moon. He said, I was doing that. <laughs> <laughs> You're making sure I weren't being followed. He went, they got me on a fucking satellite. <laughs> 4,982. Oh, you're not away. getting away nowadays, mate. No. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> Crime it... don't pay today. Hear me with that. I'm not trying to be nice. How, how are they, Dave, if you don't mind me asking, mate? Yeah, I don't mind you. Right now, you're going to see a smack in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> the retired shit has gone straight out of the window. 64. 64. Wow. The reason I ask is, right, because for me personally, one of my biggest fears is coming to like 75, looking back and going, if I live to 75, 80 yeah. and going, I've not lived the life that I wanted to. So yeah. unfulfillment, but you've, you've done it all, right? So looking back at it, like, is there any regrets or would you have done anything differently? Are any you regrets? The... Listen, I have woke up with some fucking ugly birds. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't worry about it. <laughs> what about they the fellas, Dave? They told me. They told me. <laughs> no, but... Um... <laughs> That's me. the missus offset. <laughs> yeah. we're, we're the heckle for the crowd over there. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't got regrets. No, not really, no. That's good, no, man. No, not... So how are you living? How are you living and today, Dave? I'm living very well. Yeah, I'm. Um, I'm nearly healthy. You know, think yeah. happens to you when you get 65. I'm afraid. Yeah, sure. But I, I personally, when I was your age, I didn't bank on getting to 65. It's like you were <laughs> 74. Yeah. Well, I, I never set a pension up. I never thought of being 65 years old. Wow, that's you know, crazy. You're out at, at 28 on the dance floor of the ministry, right? You know, please. <laughs> yeah, I never dreamt I'd get this. Now I'm in here and you're getting half oh, right or some things like that. Yeah. You're like, well, you know, really? And you're looking at things that are going, I could get Nick for that. You know, <laughs> she's only 18. You're thinking of spending it. <laughs> and she's come up to you going, just like my granddad. I'm sitting there thinking, I ain't all right. <laughs> <laughs> really? It's crazy. Yeah. Girls now, that's crazy, yeah. right? I'm telling you, yeah. thank God for them. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> we can vouch. We can vouch. No, don't worry, mate. Don't worry. Come, best friends. I'm proud at 64 standing that queue at the VD clinic. I'm proud. 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 I'm I'm living a nice little life. They're doing documentaries about me. I'm doing voiceovers for all the gangster stuff in America. Wow. Yeah. I get little parts in films, but I ain't going to be in a movie star. You know I mean, they only ask me to be in it because I'm Dave. Sure. Yeah, and I only ever play Dave. You know, yeah. they ask me to be an actor and doing anything. I'm just, and I'll play a good Dave. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So, you so know what? We watched a really good video in the car just now. Yo showed me this video of Michael Jackson coming on stage, right? And the crowd was elated. They were just like people passing out and stuff like that. And we said, what must be going through his head at that point? He's, like, he's on that stage looking at all them people have come there to see him. Do you know what I mean? So you're infamous and famous at the same time. Huh? How does that genuinely feel to you? No, 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 well no, no. I actually forget that it's there. On the, the God's honest truth, mate. Yeah. I've been with sitting with, I forget. To someone else who's thinking that, because I know the real truth. No one or nothing is as big as a myth. No one is that. No, you know, yeah, I yeah, know yeah. me. Mm. I said half of them stories heard about me are true, and I have to go out to my mum's and go, wow, reading this. Did I really know? Did I? You know, like, so 
Um, I ain't, 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 ain't really as naughty as, as it comes out. You know what mm, I mean? Sure. The gangster thing's an old yeah. fashioned word. It's like, I'm yeah, not yeah. Pr promoting that. Yeah. And I read this and then I see that they're talking to me and the geezer could, you know, he's a giant of a man going, hello, Mr. Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. So I don't actually yeah. see it. Yes, it's got its pros and cons. Sure. It gets me laid a lot. I earn a lot, <laughs> a lot of money. <laughs> I don't pay for holidays or cars or fucking. You'll be knocked up. <laughs> Whatever, I don't pay for anything. It's cool at the moment. Yeah, 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 right. call it. Oh, I'm doing that at 65. Yeah, I'm like, you know. Now, listen, stand up and take them, book. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say you lived in a castle? I lived in a castle, yeah. I bought an old school and um, turned it into a castle. That's crazy. I've seen a couple of videos. It looks unbelievable. Oh, wow, really? Well, I'm inviting you to a party on the 29th of this month. I'm doing the Ben Apple Boxing. At the O2. Yeah. You want to come to that? Got a jiggy. 100%. Oh, yeah. yeah. Love the party to. is at my home. Love to. I'd love to come here. Yeah, yeah definitely. Genuinely yeah. inviting us, yeah? Genuinely invite. We don't have to fight, do we? No. <laughs> we're going to fight entry or anything, haven't <laughs> we? Yeah, we're with Dave, mate. We don't have to fight anyone. I've got a nice little night for the house. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I've got a 250, 300 seat a nightclub, and I've got no doorman. I could not get my head round paying someone to look after me at the bottom of the garden. I can't <laughs> fucking do that. <laughs> <laughs> but it gets filled up. You've got some nice paintings in there, in there as well of yourself. No, I think if I'm honest, well, I it might make me look vain, but the truth oh, is, is there are all these art students want to go and spend a lot of time and spend their friend do this big painting down Courtney and send it to me and pay the posters and pack in, you know, who am I to screw it up and go, oh, I've had six this week, bro. You know, like, I'm thank you and I'll keep it and in case you ever come down my house, it's hanging up in a club somewhere. You know? Yeah, yeah lovely. Like someone to walk into the club and go, 700 photos of yourself. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Turn it in, Dave. <laughs> You're a fashy. Yeah. You're a fool. You know. <laughs> yeah. well, I'll just keep it because they've sent it. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, nice. It's isn't a gift, it? isn't it? Yeah, it's blue. Yeah. Did right, you yeah. think that would ever happen? I bet you yeah, never dreamt. Dream no. You can't plan on this. It got thrown at me. You can't design to be. In one day, I went from running out of doorman. Mm -hmm. Doing a security company, and the only reason I took the job on on the crates wind thing was to earn money as a security company. Mm, yeah, Raven had just started at thirty dollars at a club instead of four, and wow, it's fantastic! This is going to make me famous in security, world security. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know, doing a crates wind thing it actually turned me into the next morning as a celebrity gangster. What the fuck? <laughs> celebrity gangster, yeah, that's yeah, crazy. Monarch of the underworld. Hello? <laughs> yeah, what? What? I've got a penny job. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and the next minute, everyone in England is on their headquarters of Super Gangster. Yeah, yeah, of course. When, and uh, so your life changed in a day. That's crazy. Your life changed in so a that, day. So that was it for you? Was that the, like, the right, changing moment? Once, you can't stop the papers writing about it. Once they start writing about it. That's right, it, yeah. That's your mm. So mm. now they're writing thousands of stories about me. Up the day after and the day and putting all asking me to go on all mm. these programs. And I'm going no comment, no pictures, no going no. mm. and I did it, but they're still coming out anyway. So I had to make a conscious decision yes, sir, was to go. It, yeah. I either take control of that bit of frame and steer it where it's going to go, yeah, because it's coming anyway, or just let them write down whatever they're wanting and try and hide and carry on being a criminal now. Yeah. I had to knock the criminal thing on the head, do something just as famous as uh, as the Great Dream Funeral, which was write a book. Stop the ride. I want to get off. Told you, yeah. end of. I'm doing a telly thing. Maybe it's a blessing in disguise. Yeah, 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 nice. Maybe it's a blessing in disguise. Well, it's a blessing in disguise. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I've had a very, very good life. Over yeah, here. yeah, very good you, life. Over you here. said you've done the doors. Was that was that with, uh, with Lenny McLean? With Lenny McLean. With, yeah. yeah. What what, yeah. what was he like then? Because hey, I know he was most probably the best door club doorway fighter. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because you're because you're the age you are. You've grown up with a completely different set of doors. Oh, there's some yeah. good stories about him. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I heard one night he got stabbed in the back. He got stabbed yeah. in the back in a fight, and he carried on the fight and didn't yeah, even know he had against a twenty men apparently. Like so many stories. Yeah. The, be the best 20. nightclub doorman fighter I've ever seen, and there's different styles of fighting. Not sure. different styles of football, isn't there? Like the long ball game. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's the kung fu bloke that buries his fucking ankle in your ear hole. <laughs> Nigel Ben that didn't mind getting hit as long as he got his win. <laughs> you Ben yeah, wants yeah, to hit yeah. you, but don't want to get it back. You know, football really gonna rip his shirt mm. off and jump into ten thousand blokes. Yeah, yeah, it's all different. <laughs> all different styles. Of What's your so, style? What's your style? Mm. Dirty, filthy bastard. <laughs> <laughs> I have no qualms whatsoever from attacking you from behind without me mates in the transit van. <laughs> <laughs> and a bit of wood, preferably 10. <laughs> I can.
Yeah, we know what it costs, isn't it? We know. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, 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 right. in, in the days I was a doorman, if you lost a fight as a doorman, the governor would sack you and yeah. get a better fight. Oh, really? Right. Would, yeah, oh, really? Really? Get you had to have four or five fights yeah. a night, seen that. five nights a week for 20 years. So after you bump into Lenny McLean on the way home from a club, he's a fucking toasty bastard because <laughs> you can't get a doorman today anywhere near as hard as what we used to be. Yeah, because no way. Fighting is the same as any other sport in the world. You can't get good no, at it unless you do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like proving your point. Doorman now don't really want to fight. No. Doorman hits you back once, he sacks a knee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where is he going to get good at doing something you're not allowed to Fair do? Enough. It's impossible to even comprehend of what you're going to get. Is yeah, it it's anything sure. like Lenny McLean? Because it ain't. Yeah. Mm. It's, it's, it's like a... It's like a dinosaur that's been extinct. You ain't going to get one of those. Yeah, yeah it's no true. More. You can't, can't breed it, can you? Can't licensing no. back then was different in clubs as well. There was oh, no sure, licensing. Yeah, so there that's why I feel like people would have gone clubbing back then. And if you get into trouble, you can you could pretty much die in there. And huh. You could just throw them at someone's doorstep and just leave. But well, nowadays, afraid, you can't I'm afraid, do that. I'm afraid, no, 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 listen, it happened an awful lot. And I can vouch for it myself because I'm afraid I have done it. When the raving thing first started, mm. with all the backdrops and the thing and all that, mm. I owned many a club. The owner of the club has gone, someone's died in your club. And you, what you've got to do is prop it up against the wall, hide it with the blanket, and let it all carry on. Right? And when everyone's finished, go and put it outside someone else's pub. Or, oh, or turn all the lights on, send everyone home, ring the police, get done for having a raid, yeah. do you know, who sold in the pill or murder, all yeah. that. Oh, they, he's dead. It's not worth bringing a fucking ambulance or a doctor or trying to do the, you know, it's too late. He's halfway man. through nine tunes. He's been, <laughs> he's, been, he's been danced on for the last half. I feel like sleep. <laughs> I mean, it ain't worth trying to I, bring him round or ruin everyone else's night. So you just chuck him <laughs> under the blanket, leave a door money in front of him like that, and then put him outside and have a booze. That's, oh, that's mental. Or, or do you turn the lights on? Yeah, that's it. Lose all your money, really. Yeah, that's it. It's right. I know. It's only one person. When did this transition happen from like the doorman from your Thursday, right? From your day till now? I know it happens really slowly, like all change, you know? Not yeah, yeah. Change, so it wasn't thing overnight like that, no? No, no, no. The police actually realised that the doorman run London or the doorman run the nightclub world, whether it yeah. be the, the pussy, the drugs, the, you know, the doorman run it, yeah? And so they spent 10 years learning that the pills came in, they weren't ready for that. Yeah. And then, and then they whittled it down to who is doing it and the doorman are doing it. So now we we'll work, we'll work out a way to stop that. So they brought out over a 10-year period the licensing. Mm, that yeah. got it all under control again yeah, for yeah, about yeah. 20 years when they first started bringing out a, a pill for 20 quid that made everyone not shy. <laughs> you know, that, that's the hour, hour it was sold. Hear me. If you're fucking shy, that is the worst illness in the world, being shy. And everyone going, cheer up, man. Someone give you a pill. That you shake it and you're not shy no more. You can have a dance. You can. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. For the first time in your life, you're going, <laughs> Give me another bit of money. <laughs> Have all my money. You know, I'm going to the dance floor till I'm 37. <laughs> do you remember that? Do you remember that, oh, that era and that change when, when, it, when, it, when it first came in? Immensely, yeah. What's Immensely. Can you talk to us I, about I, I, that? Yeah, me and um, Richard Branson went to America. He went to go and he opened up heaven. And I come back and opened up a place called um, The Arches. And he saw all the, all the, all the... Richard Branson is in... Yeah, the Virgin owner. Yeah, yeah, but he put out all my books in the world. No way. What? Wow. That's Jim yeah. That's it. And he saw all that there and come and opened up heaven. I'm a little bit on the wrong side of the law. Couldn't do that, could I? So I've got the railway arch. I just couldn't get my head round people buying that, a bottle of water, which at the time I was a young man, for a fiver. Yeah. <laughs> a bottle of fucking water, which is... Comes out the fucking sack <laughs> for a fiver. I couldn't get my head around it because everyone drunk light and bitter light out. Mm. So, you know, no one in the world ever went to a pub and said, in the world, and went two Ribenas, an orange juice, three waters and a, a lemonade. You should have got beat up for asking. For <laughs> <laughs> got beat up. Was, oh, yeah, of course. You know, you know what I mean? That's it. But they're buying that and I bought half a tonne of Evian bottles, empty, you just fill them up with water, put them in the sink, in the fridge. And when you when you take it out of there, you un you undo the top for them, didn't you? So yeah, you of course no you do, yeah. The, and just give it to them. And I, every time I was getting over five and I'm going like, 
It's easier than robbing a bank and they're buying one for a fiver and chipping it on their head. <laughs> and going, can I have another one? <laughs> and I'm like, wow, I can't <laughs> And it's free, comes out of that silver thing, by the thing. <laughs> it's a fiver. And you get your head around that. Yeah, that's outrageous. So where were you doing that? In America or here? I was doing it here. I'll come back and do it here. Yeah. Wow. The, the, the rave scene was going good and strong in the yeah, gay yeah. scene out there, well before we ever heard of it. Yeah, of course. Wow. No, 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 huge. Huge. What huge. years are we talking? Was it 70s? Oh, going into 80s. Right? Um, no, oh, we're, we're talking mid 80s, I suppose. Mid 80s, yeah. yeah. Something like that. Yeah, right. that's when it would have been. And right. you capitalised on the water game. Do you know how much oh, water, okay. water is now in Ibiza? Spanish. Have a guess, have a guess in a club. A bo bottle like that, how much do you reckon? Fiver. 15 quid. You have to move your mortgage yeah. or a gaff, mate. <laughs> so now we <laughs> might. Yeah, now we should capitalise on his idea, yeah. boys. Do you, know what, do you know what they do out of the taps? What? Salt water. So you can't fill you, you can't fill yeah, it up. You can't fill it up because it's an island, isn't it? You oh can't yeah, fill it up. they're clever. Oh, aren't they clever? Yeah, they've got it on lock. Clever. They're, they're not lot. silly. They're not silly at all. Can we go? It'd just actually ruin your own early, wouldn't it? Having to sit there and pay fifteen, 15 quid a pint, yeah. like two bottles it's a week. Ridiculous. Well, they know they don't make money out of alcohol because everyone's on the, on the old pills and that. So they know they're not making any money out of booze. So they've got to put the price up with water. Yeah. It's a smart, Naughty. smart idea, but no, it's yeah, business, 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 it? business. Yes, yeah, it. I want to ask you because I'm a. I wouldn't say a fan, but I'm. Uh, well, yeah, I'm a bit of a fan. I'm a fan of um, the Cray Twins, and obviously, you've done their funeral or one of their funerals. How did you even? How did they obviously know who you were? So, how did they even find out who you was? Just from your connections, or was you friends? Was you? Would you go out for food, drinks? Quite too big, really. I didn't actually realise what was happening for me. I'm actually looking at it as a little fellow like yourself, got a lot of dormant work in, and ended up getting a couple more contracts from it. Just on that I day, so just in the chat, how old was you at the point when I asked you to do this? Oh, at the funeral, I yeah. don't know. I'm, 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 talking about. I'm a man. I've known him a long time now. You know, I, I didn't meet him until I was already in prison. I wasn't out running around with the craze. Oh, I was like 64. Yeah. yeah. You know, I didn't meet them until they'd already been in prison for yeah. 15 years. They were right? they were around from the 50s, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I, that, that really isn't me. Um, I, the bigger I got, the more they wanted to know who, the who you were. Yeah, you know, so he's running all London. And there weren't no one for me to have a fight with. It was too big. Yeah. With too many of us, yeah, there wow. weren't loads of little um, gang, gang companies. Yeah. There was just your lot, right? Yeah, okay, you got bigger and better than that. Show me, <laughs> <laughs> but apparently, I'm still alive and you know, I'm having a chat with you, and no one has showed me. So, yeah, that's enough. crazy. Are you ever worried about your uh, past ever coming to haunt you? Um, no, I, 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 because I'm quite a uh, moralistic man. I'm afraid I'd be no good as a criminal in today's world because the more nasty and evil and lying, backstabbing and violent and that you are, the more they think you're great. Right? You know what I mean? I'm afraid I'd come from an era where you looked to someone and trusted them or didn't trust yeah. them and done what you were supposed to do if they didn't. You know, the different era. There's a bit more respect And I would there. pay very dearly for being too nice a guy now. You know what I mean? So I don't do the crime thing. But what was your, what was your question there, would you say? So do you ever, are you ever worried about like there's any well, skeletons? going to come out now. And, yeah. I, and if I've had to hurt anyone, which I have, I genuinely do believe with my Robin Hood hat on that I've had no option. I can honestly say there is not a man alive that can stand up and go, I've run away and left him. There is not a man alive that can say, I've give him bad advice. There is not a man alive that can come up and say that I haven't, I've grasped him up. There is not a man alive. My front door is 18 chestnut rise. Plumstead, it's open, right? and, I, and I'm standing here alive. I'm talking about a world of of people that if I exaggerated or lied about, I'd go home and get another belly button put in no. me. So I yeah, have to tell you the f truth. I'm not confessing to ever been no super gangster, no best prize fighter, no great train robber, no brinks man. I ain't that. What's happening, guys? I just want to interrupt this podcast really quick to ask one little favour from everyone that's uh, following our journey right now. We are trying to grow this podcast as big as it can possibly become. The bigger it gets, the more outlandish things we're able to go and do and the bigger the guests get every single time as you're already seeing. So if there's one little favor that me and the Graph Kings can ask is hit that subscribe button and it does us the absolute world of favors and we'll see you in the next. Let's get back to the pod. I yeah. weren't planning on being that old. All them men that have spent a million years getting a reputation as the naughtiest man in England or whatever. But I got it overnight by burying a gangster that I never even killed. Yeah, no. I just put dirt on yeah. him, you know what I mean? And I'm, I'm now the most famous celebrity gangster in the world. It's like, it gets his pro, it pros and it's con, yeah. you know what I mean? And I took that on board, whether I deserved the crown or not. Yeah. I took it on board very seriously that the rest of the world, the rest of the world are looking on, at you as the typical English naughty man. Yeah. And I, I, 
I wore that quite proudly. Yeah. He was like an Olympic runner with his fingers. It's a nice, it's a nice state of style, isn't it? They wanted to look, I'll give them something to fucking look at. <laughs> <laughs> so I will live in the house, I will drive the car, I will own the army, I will, instead of that little bit where, you know, criminals had to go for a, a, a bridge crossing period in their life because they spent all their life going, no pictures, no comment, mm. uh, down a dark alley and all that. And now they had to go, wait. It's, it's a new era, you know yeah. what I mean? Uh, the yeah, press course. have got a bigger voice. They all want to chat you. You've got to go and tell be entertaining, look sharp, and you ain't going no picture, no comment. And I was better at that than all these other big names, the yeah. Freddie Foremans, the Ronnie and Reggie Cray, the Charlie Bronsons, because they're used to going, over, I'm on the other end of that. So I became the bridge for all of them to get into today's world. Yeah. I mean, I've got them all their own. Magazine articles, their own films done about it, their own book deals, their own. You know, I mean, once you've got Freddie Foreman, Ronnie Biggs, Ronnie and Reggie Gray, all saying you're a lovely fellow, you know, all that. New spreads are off yeah, out there. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and you're just helping them out because you're out there, old, you're not. I've got all that. I was young and um, eager to please and easily pleased and could believe I was there, mate. You know, mm. fucking hell, wow, well, man. If they've asked me to do anything, I would have done it. Yeah. So life changed for the better then after obviously putting the dough over. And this, I, I know, I think I saw it. I've got two answers for that question. Yeah. Right. One, my life changed for the better as in I, I became more notorious, mm. which allowed me to get away with more and do more. Yeah. <laughs> but two, it was the end of my life mm. being associated with the Grey Twins because the authorities, like being Dave Courtney's mate, only got you so far in your life mm. after that. If you went to go and buy your club, you can't get the money because you're hanging around with him. Or if you're yeah. hanging around with him, we don't want to be involved with you. Got if you've rep, got Dave yeah. Courtney on your, as your doorman, he's yeah. involved in the cray twin bollocks. And everything's, uh, their imagination is the most scary thing yeah. in the world. So yeah, you get what sure. I mean? Their imagination is the most scary thing in the world. And they imagined all sorts of. So actually meeting them turned into be the worst thing that ever happened to me because they stopped my acting career, my, whatever, you know. Where I was going to stop the road, I want to get yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that. <laughs> the hell. legit they business. They just had one word with the newspapers and went, "You don't write nothing about Dave Courtney no more." Yeah, and I pro. know all these journalists. They've been writing about me for thirty years. I know them. That like, I yeah. say hello to you and all that. And I go, "I'm not allowed. I'm not allowed." There's a new law. Go and check it. There's a law. You cannot glamorize crime. Oh wow! Um, mm. right, Vinnie Jones can play you in a film, Lockstock. You can't play yourself because that's glamorizing crime. Oh, wow. Fuck, and Billy insane. Jones played me in Love Shop. Oh, did he? Yeah. Oh, well, wow. What a movie. He didn't know. Well, well, I didn't that know that. Well, I know I did that. And Virgin are going, we can publish your new book, but I can't bring a poster out saying your new book's out because the poster's glamorizing Love, crime. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. You know, I, I can't. You're funny, you went, don't give us your book, as Gary Bushel, don't give us your book to do a critic on it because I'm not allowed to say it's a good book by law. Yeah. I'm not allowed to say you're. A nice bloke, or you're quite funny. I'm not allowed. Wow. It's glamorizing. Is that what they're saying? So I lost all of that, but gained a little bit of whatever it is you think I've got because I knew the craze. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. made me worthy of this. Yeah. yeah it right, stopped yeah. me getting a mortgage. Or yeah. Won't let me visit my daughter in America. Or oh, I can't right. own a pub or I can't have a minicab office. They, they yeah, yeah, it's got, it's got, got a load of. Like I said to you, I've stopped being Dave yeah. Courtney, him. I'm there this Dave. Yeah. But they never ever stop going, I'm going to get you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's horrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. tell mm. me about it. So when you say, did my life all get great after I've done a funeral, you tell me. Mm. I'm going to cook today where they're still kicking my door down. Yeah. yeah. And trying, I'm, so you tell me how many of them can I win yeah. before they actually put me in prison at 74. You know I mean? They're not going to stop. No. Mental, isn't it? Yeah, it's not. It ain't. It's annoying. Yeah. Mm. As an advert for please don't be a criminal, I should be one. I, I did it with a load of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, as if it's yeah. all great. Mm. I'm doing something which the rest of the world consider horrible anyway, mm. crime. So I try and make it as entertaining or as funny as I possibly can to you. It's not lying, I'm juicing mm. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah, yeah Storyteller, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just your personality, do you know I mean? yeah, yeah. Or you as I can. Yeah. Right, but it's some days where you're sitting there in court at 64. Oh, f well, yeah. What the f yeah. When are they going to stop? Yeah, yeah, I bet. Yeah, yeah. When? That's they, crazy. You know, searching everyone that leaves my house, paying the neighbours to put cameras in there. Mm. You know, you know, I'm nothing yeah. better else to do. Like, come on, you're There's proper time, criminals. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I know that, but like, they, they, they're, they're too busy on the 
bitter. They're fixated on it. He's got away yeah. with so much. Even my ass looks like I'm glamorising. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I ain't glamorising crime. I'm glamorising Dave. Mm. And that's the f***ing God's on his shoes, mate. I ain't saying crime's good. I'm going, get yeah, out of me, yeah. mate. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's really all I'm doing. And they've swapped it around. Like I'm going, oh, everyone ain't crime good. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. It ain't bad when you get away with it. But at the end of the line, when you're sitting in prison with a 14 rat man, yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean? Sitting there thinking, what the f? Yeah. yeah. You, you make some wrong, wrong decisions. Dave, uh, di di dialing it back a little bit, do you remember like your first kind of introduction to crime? Or do you remember when you like first kind of done something or like got involved with something? You were like, f me, this is, this is like getting naughty now. Um, I think you're, you're born naughty. I yeah. Think, I think it's in your, t in yeah. your blood, in your. I get what you're saying. I yeah. genuinely believe <laughs> yeah, no. some people just take to it really easy, <laughs> and other people, are like, you know, you find out he's not a criminal when they're in the police station, glassing you up or <laughs> running away from leaving you there. You know, that's when they find out that he weren't one. Yeah. But other people, they just, I'm born to be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. I mean, I can do this really, and it weren't scary for me. It weren't. Oh, but that was a bit frightening. <laughs> you know, some people, when someone comes out and goes like that to you for the first time, it can be a harrowing experience. Personally, I've got off on it. <laughs> <laughs> this is my chance to be fine, man. You know what I mean? And you've got two. You know what I mean? That's more or less. I'm not, I did do that. I did do that, but I'm saying. Yeah, I'll get what you're some saying. Some people are like that, aren't they? And you get to, as a naughty man, you get to hang around with another whole set of premier division naughty mm. men around. Mm. You don't really know them out there, walking around looking like normal people, but they're naughty. And you get to meet these people that, you actually know what mental is. Can you tell? Can you yeah, tell that like, when you meet someone like yeah, yeah, they're about yeah. it and they're not? A gay man can tell another gay man. Yeah, room, and we wouldn't know. Or yeah, I would know. Yeah, a, a heroin user can spot another heroin user. A killer can spot another killer. Yeah, mm. a prostitute can spot another prostitute. An old or can spot another old or. <laughs> and so, a naughty man, a real genuine naughty you man. You can tell. Yeah, I can look at you, mate, and although you're. Yeah, I can tell. I would know whether you can hurt me, or not, <laughs> and I'll be ninety nine percent right. Do you reckon you can? Not this room. <laughs> <laughs> not while the cameras are on. I'm fully fucking loaded and right up for it tonight. I'm looking at <laughs> moo moos with four big muscles. You know what I mean? I'm ready. <laughs> I'm alive. I love that. I love that. Oh man, fucking hell. Do you um? <laughs> um caught me off guard, mate. Um, what was I say? You know, what he said like. You're born for it. Was there like, did they ever start like small petty crime? Of course like? it started to me with small petty, but I never looked at it as it was always Anything being else. a criminal. Yeah. I was just earning a couple of quid more than me mates and I ended up earning more than me dad was earning me. I was at school and it just weren't scary. It weren't hard for me. All my mates were bigger than me, not because I was scarier than them, but I was funnier than them. And yeah. I'd go, I'll go, I'll do it. I'll get in, fuck them. I'll, you know? <laughs> I'll never ever get beat up because all my mates are like 20 years old. You know what I mean? Fucking blind, and I'm being there. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I just rolled with it, and I'm afraid people hate me for saying this, and I can't help it, right? But I'm afraid you do get something called natural leader material mm -hmm. and natural soldiers. Both are as equal yeah. as important to each other, right? And whether I deserve it or not, I've got the leader bit. Yeah, it comes natural to me that the buck stops here. I can take that. I can talk to you. And I can tell you off, even if you're that big. I can do. You know, I'm 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 lucky. Yeah. And I can only do it because I've got a million file of it. I've got a phone book for the people like you. Mm. Yeah. You know, I didn't get here because of me. I got here because of you, 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 him, 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 and everything they ever done. <clears throat> I said I got the credit and the blame for. Right. You know what I mean? All of a sudden, I'm in charge. Of, you know, I look like I'm as scary as all these ones that work for me. But I ain't. I'm just the one in charge <laughs> and the one that sells them off if they do it wrong. You get yeah, what for I mean? sure. Well, so, uh, why do you think that is, though, David? Why, I don't know. I, I think you're born with it. I couldn't yeah, tell yeah, yeah. you. Right, so I'd love to say some fucking wicked thing. Like yeah. this. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. Right? But you just are that way, aren't you? Some yeah, yeah. people have. Just comes naturally. Like, yeah, some yeah, people ain't. Sure. You know, so. At, what, at what point then did you end up like going behind bars? Because I know you've done a bit of time for even 20, things like, 21 years old. 21? Was the first time on For a few things uh, you didn't for, do as well, uh, from I take it. I got, I, I, I deservedly got three and a half years for attempted murder. Wow, okay. Um, that was the first time. But they've, they've, they've wanted me ever since. And, and um, they brought out a documentary called The Birmingham Boy. That was a real start for me. And it was, I had all these dormant working for me. And they went, 
We've got a load of permission off the Home Office. I was nicked for something where there were seven witnesses against me. I was definitely going to prison. I only got bail because they thought I was all crippled up, right? But then I got better when I had already got bail. So that's the only reason I got bail. And they got, they got, when I got permission from the Home Office that we're giving him a little bit of bird in November, he's getting bird, he's getting guilty. Can we film it? He's got all these dormen working for him. And we want a documentary. We, we're we're going to film him doing all this debt collecting, car repossession, throwing squatters out, rent a clump. We're going to film him doing all that first, film him in prison, and then film him when he comes home and see if prison works. Mm. That was the plan. Oh, okay. you know, right? But then they filmed me doing all these horrible things, and by the time the court case come up, I got not guilty. <laughs> so they were fucked with the whole rest of this thing. So they made oh, up right. a documentary of this first little bit that they filmed, me running in front of the It looked like every day I'm just waking up going, oh, what it, you go? <laughs> <laughs> That's what it looked like. I'm out robbing cars every day, beating up squatters every day, debt collecting every single day, and they called it the Bermondsey boy. And I lived in Peckham, so everyone in Bermondsey didn't fucking like it. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone in the streets going, all right. <laughs> In the end, you start actually going, yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so you turn you out, you off like. Was there ever a point, David, come in your life from a, a situation, where, no matter what it come off the back of, where you thought, oh, fuck, this is serious. I don't know, how am I going to get out of this one? No, there's too many of them to, to, to pick any out for you. I was okay. trying to think of some, there's too many of them. But what it does is everything in the world is easier the second time. Killing someone, robbing a bank, taking it out of the arse, anything is easier the fucking second time round. Mm. And after four or five times of people jumping out with you with guns or major big fights, you've had to be involved in that football violence shit. Yeah. 50 people fighting, 80 people fighting, 40 of them have got a knife each and you're dodging balls. Yeah. Now, once you've lived through that every Saturday for the last fucking three years, I'm in West End, Leicester Square, getting it mm. from the football boys every single week. Yeah. It ain't as scary for you no more. No, it's, yeah. it's actually quite a little test yeah. for you. Yeah. And you think, oh, boy, you've got to be a tasty. <laughs> <laughs> you go to a little way. Rush it up. It's quite exciting and you've got, you know, you're all dressed different, you're all out in the van, you're all normally carrying something, and it's like, mm. you know, you're halfway. Or you could be one of them ones waiting for it, threading it happening. Or you could, most people that, that was around at the time got into it, they went to work, knowing that was, you know, oh, can have four fights tonight. Most people don't have four fights in their life. Yeah, that's it. Mm. Right? Yeah, Every right. doorman then at the time, like, you know, there's something wrong with you if you didn't get that three or four or five fights. On a night, every night. <laughs> they weren't, they weren't They'd a, come back to nah. work in the morning with their wrist broken, four teeth knocked out, and their jaw in a wire, still fucking standing on the door. <laughs> mental. They, like, weren't, they weren't like mental. a pinnacle moment for you where like, really you think, oh, no, no, I actually out. grew into it from birth, I'm afraid. I fell mm, into right. it very naturally. I'm, 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 I'm the perfect example of you can't blame the parents. I lived in a nice little house. With, had, we had. Rich, where we had money, yeah, yeah. they had a car, we had the shed, we done mm. just nothing. They were cubbin scout leaders, they took me, made me go fucking church <laughs> every fucking Sunday till I was about 50. No, no, till I was about, <laughs> <laughs> they just they were cubbin scout leaders, you had to do church pray with the flag and all that. <laughs> I was out being a G in the night, <laughs> as big a G as you can be at 13, right? You know, we had your little lambrettas and all that running around, and um. And on Sunday morning, I had to dress up with a wog on. <laughs> <laughs> you did a scout, man. You're, you're a god fearing no, man. No, I'm, I'm not. Um, I'm not a. Uh, it don't cost nothing to be a. a um, I wouldn't say I was a non-believer okay. or a believer. I'm saying, I'm, I'm thinking there must be something. Is that how I look at it? Because I'm this old, I will, I will look at situations or problems differently. Yeah, yeah. And I will look at it like this: if. Everyone in the whole world, even though they're calling it a different name, is actually acknowledging something, whether you want to call him Allah or Jesus or Buddha or whatever you, you know, want to call mo it. Yeah. Like, most people in the world acknowledge just something somewhere. Mm, yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? You know what I mean? But most people do. Right? I'll go with that. It don't cost me for all to, you know. It don't cost me every day, oh, I believe in that. If you were asking me whether I believe every word of the Bible, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? You know what I mean? I don't believe that. But you believe but in I something. I do believe in something. Yeah. yeah. So whatever it is or whatever his name is or whether he's got an arp and an halo and a fucking, uh, well, yeah. I don't know. But, like, you know, I'm, 
I'm not anti it. I'm not a non-believer. Yeah. I, just, I don't practice it. No, you, no, are you worried about the afterlife? I am the fucking afterlife. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not worried about the afterlife. I'm quite, I'm, I'm actually, <coughs> although I'm not saying I'm running away trying to look forward to it, I'm actually going to embrace, have, embrace having a little die, a little lie down and a rest. Yeah. Mm. You know what I mean, yeah. right now I've looked at it like this as a realist. I'm 64. Every single day I've had most of them has been fantastic. Yeah. I would hate to get to. 80 in the last 15 years of my life, I was all bent up and old. Yeah. Yeah. I might live to 81 even. Who the f wants to be 64? I'm quite happy that. Yeah, I know what you mean. You yeah. understand what I mean? Not I'm happy yeah, 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 yeah. but It wouldn't frighten me. I think I'd be smiling before me head hit the floor. Like. <laughs> What a life. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've got yeah. some stories for you. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. That's I'll good. I'll that. That's good. Yeah, yeah. In life, you shouldn't have regrets, I don't think. Well, and I don't want to be living any no. older. That's what mm. I'm saying. Like, yeah, no, yeah, I could like... be to Being a cripple. 90. Yeah, yeah. But the rest, the last 30 years, we're not that. Every single day I can remember, I've been laughing. Yeah, of yeah, course. Wow. Under my little umbrella of me and mine, I'll make sure everyone is laughing. Well, it's more important than a gangster fight, get a load of me fighting. Yeah. You'd do more for me if you liked me and I was funnier than you would if you were frightened of me. Yeah, yeah of course. Definitely, definitely. Right? Nice to be important, but important to be nice. Mm. I like that. Yeah, that's a good little sign. Nice like to be that. important, important to be nice. Yeah, I like that. Nice to be important, but important to be nice. No, I like that. When did that change for you? Well, I don't think I'm not nice. I think I might hang around with a lot of people that ain't. And there's a, if I went debt collecting, when I got the money off of you, you would hate my guts. And when I give it back to you, you would like me. So I don't <laughs> think I'm... It ain't changed for me ever. I'm not. Yeah. I'm a nice guy now, but I used to be a little bit. Right? I might have been a little bit more fiery when I was younger, but I've never been a bully. Mm. Yeah. Well, I, I'll, I, will, I, will, I will pay anyone to stand up and say, you come along and bullied me, Dave, or robbed me. Yeah. I, don't, I just don't do it. I know a million drug dealers, yeah. robbers, murderers. I know them. They work for me. I have it done. But me, I ain't never done nothing. Right. No, I've never, I've never, there is no one can come up to me. I've lived mm -hmm. my whole life now, can mm -hmm. come up to me and say, You run away and left me. That's why I can travel the world standing on stage doing audience whips and after dinner speaking. I couldn't do that if there was anyone out there in the world That's that right, would no, stand yeah, up right. and go, yeah, sure. You cross me up. Yeah. I couldn't go. Of you know, course, I've heard yeah. that on my grass. I've heard it. But who? Who? I've heard I'm a grass, but like, with the, the computer world now, someone would have surely in the last yeah, 30 years Found stood up them, yeah. and said it, but yeah. I've heard it yeah. a thousand million times, you know what I mean? I've, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, you're right. You're right. Now, obviously, look, apart from what you've done now, Dave, but previous day, but is there any other sort of initiatives or things that you're interested in now like, and genuinely care about that you go after and do? Um. Uh, nothing in particular. It's just that I'm 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 a little I'm a bit of a care bear around me and my boys. Yeah, my friends and my little unit, and my little firm, are all important to me. Mm -hmm. If you go to prison, I'll worry about your wife or your fucking yeah. You get in the business, you get in the trainers, you do it, all of it. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been a godfather forty three times and a best man sixty five. You know, like, it all means a lot to me. That little thing, yeah, the whole family thing. Yeah, well, what do you ask me that? What, what question do you ask? So basically, you're initially like, is there anything you're interested in? Like, do you try and, and, advocate? and yeah, now I've just got more time to do whatever I want to do. Right, okay. I, I haven't, I'm not, like, before, I never had a Saturday off for, you know, there's three emergency services in London. There's a, there's a 999, there's the AA, and there's Dave Courtney. And none of them can go, <laughs> I'm having a weekend off, all right? No, none of them can do it. And I'm as busy at my house at four o'clock on Saturday night with all the problems in London where I'm going, die, 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 die. It's easy for me to keep myself out of trouble now. Yeah. Yeah, okay. For everyone else, I can't vouch for all of them. You know, like yeah. say, I've got friends that have been my mate for 40 years. He's got holes in his body down to me. He's been to prison up for me and all that. I've known him 30 years. And if he knocks on my door tonight, I mean, Dave just caught the old woman out with a neck for a neighbour. I've killed him. Help me get out of the country. I can't go, no, sorry, I'm writing books now. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, he's been my mate for 35 yeah. years. You'd come if I went, uh, you know. Yeah. I can't say. But then I'm not like that no more. No, I'm not helping you. They're going, yeah. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, and I don't know how many of them I'm going to get per night. 
And I still, and although I'm trying to keep out of it. And I still, I still to this of day. Of course it is. All the time I am where I am, if I leave myself accessible for people to come to and go, help me. Yeah, they're going to come right? and come knocking come. Yeah. yeah. And you're happy to do that, though? You're happy? Well, I'm, not, I'm not, not happy. I don't want to go and say, to you, no, I'm not happy because it makes him, you know, mm. I'd, I'd rather it not happen, but if they want my help, Can they've I help got it yeah, every yeah. fucking time. And I could go and move away somewhere where I didn't know any fucking neighbour at all. What I'm saying is this, where I live at the moment, might have been the nicest area in the world, Plums did, mm. but... I can go out of my house and anyone's house around there and go and have a bath. I had something in there, dustbin cupboard up all, all night if they wanted to, borrow their drive, let my mate stay in it, spend the night in their house. I think the police are kicking me down in the morning, go in any pub around there, get pissed and not pay, come back with a bucket of shop in there and without any money. Because I lived there all my life and I know everyone and all the bad boys around there look after my yard, you yeah. know what I mean? Mm. They all go, morning, Dave. You know what I mean? So I love it there. Yeah, yeah. I, I could go somewhere that's a nicer area, nicer house. I don't know any f*** there. Would you let me park there all night? Can I have a, do you mind if I just lie that in your dustbin cupboard? Can I stay <laughs> over your house till one? I'd have none of that. Yeah, so I'd mean. stay with a scum, mate. I'd yeah. stay right in there. <laughs> Gut a level, I am. Gut a level. Look, look that's, at, that's even lower than street. I'm sewer. Do you know what? Looking, the, looking back at everything that's gone on in your life, right, <laughs> when it comes up to the crime side, whether it was on the doors yeah. or whether it was like behind bars, is there like a particular type of, let's just say, fight or where it's gotten out of hand where you said that, that, that it's is It's every well. single situation at the time for, a, for each individual it would be frightening. I've got hundreds. I've been, I've been shot. I've shot. Wow. I've been stabbed. I've seen hundreds of dead bodies. I've tried to punch them back to life. And the more I'm doing that to them, the higher the blood's going out. Oh, wow. It's getting all over. I've had all that shit. People wow. dying in there like that. Not once. Maybe that time, many times. Dying there. Like, I'm done, done. I fucking don't, you. And dying me, you know. Yeah, no. My son has been murdered. Well, I, I have been enough. shot. Where the fuck do you want me to keep stop with this one? You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. That's oh, crazy. I can give you advice on most things. I have been divorced. Mm -hmm. I have lost a child. I have been to prison. I've been waiting on bail. I have waited for something. Like, you know, any advice you need in a criminal fraternity, I can give you it first hand. Just been the there. one yeah, person, yeah, yeah the mm. little, you know, the encyclopedia of it all. Yeah. And that sort of turned me into a falsely important part of being that mm. And really and truly, I'm just as amateur. you are. Because I've learned all them things. That's crazy. You I get what I mean. I haven't, I'm not saying I'm yeah. the biggest gangster in the world, but I've been surrounded by and brought up by mm. and learned from the biggest gangsters in the world. Yeah. Like, that, could, you know, that could help a lot of individuals. Yeah, so, it listen, it's not, it could. Out I'm here on my own here with no yeah. security. I have helped mm. more individuals than anyone you know. And I'm that confident about it that I walk around on my own with it. Mm. I, I, I believe you. Yeah, I believe right. you. We saw you outside. That guy come oh, up right, to you, cool, shook cool. your hand. Do you know what I mean? So, if there was anyone out there that ever wanted a, well, I ain't very hard to find. I advertise it. I put flags out. You know, like, <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm sure that Dave Courtney popularity yeah. is the bit that's fucking it up for the authorities. Yeah. yeah. Everyone going, oh, da, da, da. I just can't stand that. I don't, I don't like, like it. There's yeah, people yeah. in nightclubs that every time someone comes up and says, Dave, you're right. They're just hating me more and more. Yeah. Everyone that goes, all right, mate. You see them going. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah like, so. And the authorities are like that. So it's my popularity. The worst thing they can do that was stopping getting in a paper, stopping being a thing, calling them a grass, mm -hmm. fucking, you know, anything they can anything, do to tarnish anything, the name, anything, isn't it? Anything. Yeah. And like yeah. you said, though, anything. they think you're trying to glamorise it, but it sounds to me I'm like you're trying, trying to help these I'm not trying to glamorise crime yeah. at all. No. Right, 30 odd years ago, you, you you would have been right to go, I'd like to be a Dave Courtney. Because mm. I'd have been introducing, to, introducing you to a load of criminals around me, which would have been a bank robber, uh, a burglar, uh, you know, whatever. So, you now it's just narcotics, it's just drugs, yeah. crime. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Right? And I'm afraid there's no... Class around that, like yeah. there was the villains that have brought me here. They had an air of class around it mm. that you could almost stand up in yeah. school and go, My dad's a bank robber. Yeah. Almost. You can't stand up now and go, My dad's a drug dealer. Yeah. yeah. It's not the same as that. Even it's though the, the drug dealer's earning 500 times more than the bank robber ever done. Yeah. You can't, it ain't the same. There is no honor among thieves no more. It's all yeah. drug dealers. There's no oh, true. If you yeah, owe him yeah. a million quid, but. Crossing him up could actually get him put away. You don't have to buy it. Mm. There you go. You, you, you haven't got them temptations yeah. when you're just an on the road 
bloke. Mm. Yeah, now there's all this is happening and it's a different world. Yeah. Yeah. Dave, and I've it. got the young with me. They knock on my door and tell me. Now I get a bit of paper come out of a machine going, you fucking fat brass. No name, no address. Wank. <laughs> thing, from someone in Botswana. <laughs> wow, you get what I mean? I was a f***ing world and... Yeah. yeah. Then, yeah, yeah. You know, I bet you've seen some changes, haven't you? Also, I have, when I actually went out doing cr crimes, robbing a bank, where it sounds so f***ing glamorous, yeah. it was this. It was a building in the high street with four old ladies in it, a little bit of glass like that, and no, it weren't checkbooks and cards. It was cash. Yeah. She had 230 grand. She had 180 she had 300 and she had 90 grand. And you went in and went, give me here. <laughs> as hard as that. It was as hard as that. It's a big sign on the wall going, no, have a go, have a go heroes. Give the money up. We're insured. Oh, wow. They give you it in cash. And the only possible chance that anything could go wrong is if you went out the door and there was a copper stand in there, then he chased you down the road with a whistle. <laughs> with a f***ing <laughs> whistle. Wow, well, yeah. Well, you've got all that money. There's no gun. Or a little bit of wood. All right. <laughs> Oh, and after you've done it, won't yeah. you be, what am I doing not robbing banks yeah, every day? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck can I go work five and a half times or five and a half days a week? Yes, yeah, it. Take home no, 300 right. quid when I can get 200 large every time I walk. And you don't have to save up. If you run out of money, you go back and say, I want more. <laughs> yeah, that's no, fucking out much. nothing as well. Yeah, yeah you're right. Of course, there was no walking. Yeah, you're right. All right, and if they stopped you in your car, right, and it was a moody car with a screwdriver hanging out of the in that, they go, What's your name? You can go, Bob Marley. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Where's your paper? Oh, Where'd wow, you yeah. live? Yeah. And it will come in in seven days. And uh, all right, <laughs> prove your ID, innit? Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Dave, uh, everything you've been through, yeah, everything you've seen. I'll oh. start that question again because I was in your yeah. way. Go on. <clears throat> um, Dave, out of all the things you've seen in life, right? Some of the things you just described yeah. then about. You know, look, God rest your soul about your boy yeah. and the robberies, the murders, the deaths, yeah. the shootings, the stabbings. Yeah. That could really f some people up in life, yeah? yeah? How have you managed to keep such a because positive mindset? I kept it very focused in my head that what, however I'm acting visually to everyone else, now all these people rely on me and I'm in charge and you only get a living because I'll get you it and you only earn this money down to me and I'm in charge. I could never have a day where I'm, it got too much for me because yeah. I'm visually everyone else's mentor yeah like yeah. i've had mentors joe Paul and all that took me right they're, they're they're mine and i've now there's a computer world there's millions of views all over mm. the place like getting me here to you yeah, that's, yeah, right. Yeah. that's right and yeah. you're impressed with whatever it is i might be saying i'm looking at thinking each one of them could get fuck out of me what they, you know what i mean that's wrong by the way <laughs> 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 but you understand yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. You get what I mean? and even still to this day like you know but you're still so positive now and yeah. they say like it's never got you never lay there and thought no i haven't no i wouldn't i wouldn't allow myself to i'd get older than this oh mm. like yeah yeah and, and and how i am is how a lot of other people are relying on me to be like that the day i decide to go oh, there's a load of people like, yeah, oh, go, yeah, yeah. i love that well, so I have to be strong for you, mm. or yeah. you wouldn't have me on here. That's mm. a lot of fucking... And if I was a little bit flaky like that, yeah. you wouldn't have called me up. That's here. a lot of weight, though, isn't it? Yeah. Um, the shoulders. Yeah, if, you, if you're new to it, but if you grow into it and you've had it for 35 years, I'm sitting here thinking like this about it, and other people are going to Dave's Dave Dave thing. Yeah. But in reality, in my own head, I don't know, that's, that's not a... Do you ever think yeah. to try... I mean, obviously, look, uh, we started this podcast because... When we was, I mean, me and you were growing up together our whole life. Yeah. When we were growing up. Oh, oh, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, no, <laughs> I know, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, take, okay. I'll take you up on offer. <laughs> we, um, we, didn't, we didn't have <clears throat> those good role models. Yeah. We didn't, when we, when we were 15, oh, yeah, 16, no, 18, no. we didn't have them. So, like, do you ever think about, or like, so we started this to try and help the youngsters today. So we bring people like yourself and who we look up to who have transformed their life around from that life to this, to try and inspire the youngsters not to go down that life of crime yeah. and, and to better themselves and to go yeah. to the gym and work hard and earn yeah. a good living and earn good money and go after birds and go on holiday and whatever you are. Yes, people, what's happening? Thank you very much for watching this pod. Interrupting once again, last time, I promise. If you can hit that subscribe button, it will do us a world of good. Let's get back to the pod. Do you try and do the same thing now for the youngsters? Yeah, very much so. Yeah, I'm involved with uh, an organisation called AIM, which, which okay. look after people with ADHD and um, autism. Nice. And um, I gen and the reason I get involved in these little charities, if I do, 
It's not for no pat on the back. I don't go and join Oxfam. So I'll help a charity that I actually get. Yeah. Mm. And I've been to prison. And, and so I actually know that there's millions of prisoners in there that the authorities are looking at them as reoffenders. But you've actually got ADHD, mate. You don't even know why you're f***ing in here and keep coming back. You just keep doing it, didn't you? And you're, you're, you've are you're got actual autism. autism or something like yeah, that. So yeah, you're yeah. a repetitive, unstoppable shop burglar. Yeah. You just can't help it. Yeah. Every time I get stuck, fuck it, I'm going in there. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah. Why do you keep smashing? Why do you keep nicking cars? You're 50. Why do you keep? I don't know. Well, you've got, you've actually, what it is is, They've actually got ADHD. Yeah, of and, course. And autism, and they don't know it. I know it because I know what a fucking repetitive criminal is. And that ain't one. That's one. Yeah. That's just because that it's not well. Yeah. yeah. Right? And I've been there. So when I come out, ADHD and autism is the only fucking illness, if you can call it a condition, mm. that you have to fucking mend once you've realised your kid's got it. You've got a certain date that you've got to get that under fucking control by by that day or up to that day it's called ADHD, autism, bad behaviour. After that date, which is your 18th birthday, it's prisonable. Mm. So you f***ing better mend it before you're 18 because you carry on being that way, you go to prison for it. Yeah. So yeah. right up to 18, you've got ADHD. Yeah. People, people blame The next day like that, you want to start behaving like that, smashing windows, setting light to a curtain. You're a criminal. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to f***ing mm. prison for it. So it's the only illness in the world you've got so you're right here first to learn it or to you, control it yeah. or it could it could take you down a little road that you weren't meaning to go, you know? Yeah. And that's why I try and help with it. That's good. That's good, man. People that's actually good. use that as an excuse now, though, in when they're going into prison to be able to get... Well, I don't know about that, though, but yeah, they? it seems that everyone's got it. And I think most people have got a little tiny bit of it and some things can trigger it off on it and some other things can't. Some people could control it. Some people can't. I feel like smacking every fucker in the mouth, but like, only half of them get it. So I'm going to control me. Because I could control myself with the other half of the pub. So I, but I'll come back for that tomorrow. But you know what I mean? If you, some people could control it, and, and so you think yeah. they haven't got it. But there's certain things where, you know, certain silly things, like the way your brother goes, just that, the way he does that with his eyes. For you personally, you go, you Look at me like that again. <laughs> I swear. I'll oh, fucking, you know, like there's certain things that I swear to you might not do everyone else. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Of course, you yeah. know what I mean? It just makes you go, hey, hey. <laughs> you know, you can't help it. Takes it a lot, yeah. You know, with everyone else, you're keeping the lid on it and I'm trying my yeah. fing hard it. I own a nightclub so I can put up a drunks and a silly punch up and, and I can do it. But that, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? What gets under your yeah, skin. Whatever yeah, whatever it is, yeah, yeah, whatever yeah. that bit so true. Was, I hear you. Know, yeah. Did you. So, did, Go on. Go on. No, go on. I was just—it was a bit off topic. Yours on topic. It was going to be off the yeah, back go on, of go on, what go on, Mason go on. said. So I was just going to say it's more of a, from an advice perspective because we was talking about youngsters, right? As there's a lot of kids nowadays that want to get into crime because it's almost glamorized, like I've we say. It. They they're into they they grow into type of yeah. um, like communities or friends yeah. where they're exposed to all of that, but they want to get involved in it. Is well, there well, I'm any afraid the media don't help them. Yeah. Yeah. You can't blame the media because someone's a criminal. You're not a criminal because the words are that. Song were all gangstery, and your computer games are a bit gangstery, yeah. and mm. you know you can't. F***ing, don't give me that one, right? That's but you can be in a, in in a little spiral of of of, of, a, of life that you've got bad company and you've got no money. Mm. That's right. Yeah, that leads to bad decisions. I could have no trainers. I'll either stay in and watch telly because I don't want to go out there wearing these, or I could shop. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, and all of a sudden you're a criminal. Mm. It weren't meant that way, and you know, and I don't think they look up to it and that turns them into that. They're in that life and they like a nice happy ending, whether yeah. it be mm. gangsterly Fred into it or not. They like an happy ending. They're living a f***ed up life yeah, you are at sure. the moment. Yeah. Young people living in this little world. I'm looking at it like, I wouldn't mind dying tomorrow because I'll look at it. Yeah. You know, the computer world with the good things you yeah. brought. Is there any particular type of advice you can give people like that though? Just Well, mm-hmm. man, listen, uh, the only advice I can give, give, give people on that computer world is... is for me personally, the thing that is really apparent to me is that people that get really involved in the computer world lack in social skills with yeah, other yeah. human beings. Yeah, Fridge, agreed. Right? They cannot go into a club, smell a bird, look up, <laughs> see if they want to fuck it, see what it tastes like. Uh, they go, I mean, that's the 18, I'm six foot nine, big cock, anyone fancy this head? Right? And they get about eight people, go, yes, a fing thing. You know what it's I mean? crazy, it's true. Yeah. Wouldn't they? 
Well, well, I don't suppose I would have liked it when I was younger, yeah. but you didn't. I, li- I liked putting me cock in something that was quite nice. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Do you know what's funny? Is because when we when it's, we well, I'm telling you the truth, and they lack it. The kids that play, oh yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, 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 yeah. they yeah. don't go out and play like I used to, or no. No, play with other kids. And they're stuff. like that when they go out into the pub. They're like that, and Socially they can go home yeah. and go, "Yo, yeah, bruv. yeah, so yeah. true." It's fake, isn't it? It's What's your fake. name? Yeah. Big cock, <laughs> <laughs> massive, <laughs> rack of pum pum. Hello, <laughs> it's so true. Well, no, Keep on, and that's it. Yeah, oh, yeah, well, no one ever admits that they are one, and they, oh, oh, I hear the word a lot. You won't find a computer in my house, by the way. Really? Not in my house. I cannot. I don't like it. I'm very dinosaur. I'm very stupid. I pay dearly for it. I have people run my media for me. But mm. me personally, <laughs> it's turned people that I looked at like that into kids. Mm. And oh, wow. it's turned generations of people into yeah, people that do that. Yeah. Reclusive. You know, if I go out with you, if I went out with you, me and you going out and saying, we're have a little laugh. With if we went half the night doing that, I'm talking to you like that. I did proper me up. Yeah, and I know yeah, it yeah. means the world to them, so I have to shut my mouth because that is what people do nowadays, yeah, yeah, silly. So shut <laughs> it <laughs> and just sit there on your own, even though you've got eight mates with you and seven of them are like that. I'll just sit here and fucking <laughs> toss me the off, shall I? I'm paying for the fucking thing and you're chatting or something. And I might get the odd. <laughs> yeah. It's so true, though, isn't it? It's so true. It's so true. For the sake of fucking, yeah. We're going forward, people do. They people struggle to have a conversation now, man. It's so true. Other, though, like, there's been times. Of, don't get me wrong. Like, we we go on our phones, but then we pulled up each other on it. Even when we was abroad, we yeah. Yeah, but don't shot, I know yeah. you can look at like, each no, other boys, get and get a little guilt thing run through you and go, "I can't knock it. Look at you." But two minutes later, you're. I'm afraid yeah. you are addicted to the world. Yeah. This yeah. way of life, yeah, you're addicted to it. I can't lie. I am addicted. I think I am. It's a matter of ring me and we'll talk about it. Ring me when I'm talking about it. Chat. I said to someone the other day, I haven't got into personality i don't drink i don't i have the odd maybe fag when i'm drunk i don't really i don't smoke up by fags i don't you, not, you sped that up you don't have a what i i, I didn't even bet i barely even heard you say all oh, right I'm not, I'm not addicted to drink i like a yeah, drink yeah, yeah no you said i don't have an addictive personality oh, i don't have addictive personality so i'm not addicted to anything but then i realized the other day i actually am probably addicted to my phone yeah, yeah. I can't well, put my phone down. A lot of people are. Yeah, I know. I try to be conscious about it now, though. When I'm like, okay, you, you've been scrolling, doing absolutely f- cool with it, do, just useless, just doing this. Unless I'm doing something useful, fine. But if I'm, I, I try to be conscious of it to put my I'm phone down. I'm very conscious of it. Yeah. I'll, I'll get pissed my off with down. myself with it. That's why I deleted it. I'm afraid being conscious of it cannot now stop you because you are fully yeah. into no, you're, it. You're, you are, yeah. you're not wrong, You are an addict it's to, annoying. to, that way of, yeah, to the world, yeah. as, as is everybody. Communication, and I deliberately try not to. Have anything to do with it in case I go that way. Mm. Yeah. You know, I've, I, I've seen and hear things that you must see quite naturally every day. Yeah, yeah. You know, to freak me out. Like, I've, I've got mates in my house that are naughty men. Some of these naughty men, genuine, real naughty men. And I'll hear them talking to each other. Uh, you'll know what I'm talking about. And I'll hear them go, you know, Steve, I'm not even in his top 10. <laughs> Best mates list. He's got Martin on there. He's only known, <laughs> he's only known in five minutes. He's number five. And I'm listening to this fucking thing. And these blokes are like, did you get any likes on the pit? Like, <laughs> I'll put a photo <laughs> That's of me. Doing it. That's I've took a photo of me and then count how many people said they'd like, are you fuck for real? <laughs> and you guys give me whether I take your photo. Oh, Martin looks nice. And these are naughty oh, men. Oh, yeah. Bob, you know, <laughs> Bob looks nice as well. <laughs> and these naughty I've never Jesus. wanted anyone's appraisal that much that I'd check up on the ticks or the, send yeah. me one of them. I'll f***ing <laughs> give you one of them. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> God, I don't even know where them pictures are. I'll get them by mistake on my phone when they come up. Ah, I've got a pig. I've got of hearts and lemons. Get it <laughs> With it. And anyone around me, anyone close to me, I pay dearly for it because it's got the bad bits where you yeah. should have known. Yeah, yeah. You should have known that. It's all over the computer. Everyone would have told you that. Well, I don't look at Facebook. I've got a Facebook. Right? And everyone knows something or there's a joke that someone says and everyone laughs and I didn't get it because it's a Facebook. <laughs> yeah. I've got it. I've got birds that talk to me every day on the Facebook so I don't do it. Yeah. They think they don't see me. They go, Dave! I don't know. <laughs> she was talking to me every day for two years. She thinks, you know, it's me. Oh, my, my profile picture from the side. Do you remember me? 
<laughs> and they sent the real picture from wanking <laughs> <laughs> up there, uh, <laughs> do you want these in your mouth and there's some woman do. No. some woman and, she, and, and I'm going she's going well there's a nice one these always send you that well, yeah, oh fuck that one um, <laughs> my, my mum told me saying never put a bird with a bigger cock than yours <laughs> 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 uh, that's a that's a good uh good bit of advice dave on the off the back of just twisting um yeah. ozzy's question slightly what advice would you give to the youngsters today that are thinking about you know look as you know crime is kind of glamorized yeah now in from the movies yeah. from the documentaries from uh, all the fraud boys that you see online and everything else etc cetera, etc cetera, right yeah, i'll tell you um, i'll give you the answer for the youngsters I got, today i've got a proper answer for that for what you're gonna ask me for the youngsters today what advice you got to say to them say should I do it or not? What I'm going to tell you is this. Because I haven't got an alternative for them to do when I say don't do crime, I've got no right to tell them not to do it. Mm. Right? But you shouldn't hear it from someone that's a f criminal. Today's not a time to be a criminal, but I have not got an alternative to, for you to go do this yeah. or go to work and you know, don't have no jobs. Do that. Travel. Right? I can't. I've been niche. I won't give me a passport. There's a million reasons. I ain't got an alternative to tell you why you shouldn't start off shotting or, you know, your skin. You're in a world where you're earning money's really hard now. You can't fucking do it like before. Mm. And they've learned all the little coups that they've done. Mm. And you can't do it like I've done it. Right? You can't even get away with something in court because you've invented a computer. And every time I went to court, I'd pull up 20 mates with me that will swear blind I was there with them on that night. 20 of my mates will all stand in court and swear that for me. Now, you've got Facebook and the, and the judge will go, you can't have that, mate. He's your mate on Facebook. There he is. You can't have that witness. He's your mate on Facebook. You can't have that witness. He's your mate on Facebook. So you'll end up with no that could ever get you out of trouble. <laughs> I've got 23 not guilty, 24, including today. I love my cock while I say that. <laughs> 24. Ooh. <laughs> and that's because I could have a million people all lying for me. Mm. Now, because you've got this fucking computer, can't you can't have no one because they would just look through it and go, all your witnesses, you know them. Yeah. You can't have them. So you're going to prison. Hmm. I take it because obviously you're openly telling us what, what you got to and how you got away in the past. Does that not... Are you not worried that that ever incriminates you? It does incriminate me all the time. It comes back and bites me. But I am an enter entertainer. I'm a storyteller, and somewhere in what I'm telling you, there's bits of truth, yeah, yeah. there's bits of fibs, and if they pulled me on it, I would swear, God, I lied. I'd lie to them boys, and I'd never done anything wrong in my life. <laughs> right? He knows. Part of yeah. the job. Yeah. 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 They've got, they got to prove otherwise. Right, right, right. right. They've right, got to right. prove otherwise. I'm an entertainer. I'm giving you a story that's good enough for your viewers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and I'd say, if I had to, I'd go, I am a liar. I'm a coward. You can all turn up. I am a grass. I am a... My <laughs> <laughs> brother ain't left everyone. And they... <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. You can say whatever you want, but real people can listen to what I'm saying and get it. Yeah, yeah. The truth, now, yeah, once yeah. I knew I was a little encyclopedia to help everyone on their little journey through crime and they were looking at me for guidance or advice, you're very fucking choosy and... Mind day you give it because they're going to go off and do it. Mm. So you you end up in the position where you're helping and feeding all these mm. things, and you've got to be fucking right. Mm. Yeah. yeah, you've got to be right because they're running off and doing it. So it puts an onus on you. I'm sure I've done things in my life that I'd be embarrassed of, or certain things that wouldn't have you in need of material, right? But right now, because of the life and the bad thing I've had, I'm here, and this yeah. is all you got. Yeah. Yeah, I'm approachable. I can do the yeah. young guy. Shit. Absolutely. I can do the, yeah, I'm not. Well, I'm telling you how you do it, <laughs> you know, and all that. And while I'm here, willingly giving this for nothing, I think people should grab it with both hands. And if crimes where you've intended to go in your life or getting on, mm. it's not criminal. I've said that bit wrong. I'm just saying, getting on in life, you can get confidence in yourself mm. without being a criminal. Yeah. yeah. Right. And and joining a gang gives you a little feeling of euphoria almost I can't be beaten that you can't get that feeling anywhere in your bedroom on your own or at school but outside with the ten geezers and three of them have got a chief I'm fucking buzzing man yeah. I like that feeling right and I like it tomorrow and I like it the next day and I think I'm going to have that chief and they've all got new trainers selling bits of puff I'll fucking do that as well and next week you're fucking 
you're a road boy. Mm. You didn't mean that. It's easy to get into, isn't it? Of course it is. Yeah. It's addictive. And that's why I'd like to say, don't do it. Do this. Yeah. But there ain't a this to fucking do. Yeah, They've took away every other this there is to do in the world. You can't have a youth club and get everyone off the road. Because mm. the people that are on road earning money selling drugs don't go to fucking youth clubs yeah. or the <laughs> ping pong shop or the fucking, you know, yeah, yeah, or yeah. whatever, or sit at home doing Sonic. Yeah. yeah, they're out on road with that. Yeah. Yeah, with new trainers. What you got, brain? <laughs> <laughs> so true. You know I mean? So I haven't got anything oh. to say to anyone do yeah, that instead. Yeah. But you're not just get a job and go work, and it'll all be all right. That's what your dad said to me, and he was bang on. Mm. But I can't say that to you now because I'm in a f-ing job. That's so true. Yeah, yeah. I know you're saying. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Makes sense. You're in a f-ing out with a car. You can't even. If I could afford to buy a car, now I can't afford to pay the fines. <laughs> I live in a place where it costs me twelve pound a. Day to pull out my drive. Pleasure having you on, man. You've got, you've Thanks got me on, man. talking Thank completely you. load of different things that people are. <laughs> That's what we like, though. Uh, I mean, yeah. I, I think it really is the truth. Yeah. Yeah. just done yeah. to be there. I've heard me do it before. Yeah. I've heard the words come out. There's a load in there that everyone asks me the same questions, yeah. so I can only give you the same answer. Of course, right? But you've, you've um, diversified. Probably right, you've probably yeah. right, we wanted right. to go down we'll a little bit. Give you a little compliment. Give you a G. You don't Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, no, we appreciate it. We thank you very much. We wanted to go a little bit different to the usual, so. I can see that by wearing shorts. What's going to be pick? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, guys, if you are new around here and you've made it to the end, thank you very much for tuning in once again. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and we shall see you in the next. And Peace. Can I just tell you, listen, I'll do the wavy thing. Moomoo's is the bollock. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, if you live anywhere around here, Ken, and you haven't set foot in here, I want to squat in here and live. And I've, been, <laughs> I've been in most clubs in the world, but this works. Look, I just got an hard on. <laughs> wow. Better than any intro we've done. That's it. That's the one. That's See you next time. Peace.